Hey there, it's Mike from the Beaten Trail. Um, this is an update for the Razor. As you can see, we got her back. Um, it's a long story, but I'll try to make it as quick as possible. Uh, I do first have to apologize that this took so long. Uh, she's been in the shop for about nine weeks or more. Uh, I'll have to look the exact date. Um, but um, in the end, I got her back. So when you last left your hero, <laughs> as we left, as we last left our hero, we had um, dropped her off, front wheel drive was not working, and um, got a diff, uh, front wheel drive diff failure on the console. We uh, had bought the unit up in New York State because that was where inventory was available. Um, being that we live in North Jersey, we went to Motorcycle Mall for service, it was convenient, and they had an opening. So unfortunately, I didn't know the dealer that well, it was recommended by a friend not a good recommendation at all. Uh, number, they're number one in the country for sales not and, and retail, not for uh, customer service. So when we had it there, uh, they told me it was $3,500 for a new differential. Now, the problem I have is I'm not ASE certified. I'm not a mechanic. I'm an IT guy. Um, but if you have a problem with a transmission in a car or even in a Razor, you take the fill plug out Put a dipstick in, you know, go up to the coffee maker and get a little piece of a stir, a piece of wood. Put it in there, you'll know if there's liquid in there. They didn't do that. So when they first went to Polaris, they said, okay, send us the parts. So it was going to be a rebuild kit. Because when they cracked it open, <clears throat> they saw this. Okay. So, you know, to me, this is yuck and rusted. And, you know, this looks like more than two months worth of you know, damage. Um, they had done the fluid change in April. Uh, I brought it to them. I paid 400 and something dollars. They did the first warranty service. That's everything. They did everything. <clears throat> so the issue I have is they should have done it properly the first time. Uh, and also then Polaris claimed that the seals failed in the diff and that was not a manufacturing defect. And I had many arguments with several people like who, who's making these? Are, you, are they not a Polaris part? Why is this not covered? <clears throat> Still, they wouldn't budge on it. When I finally got to the end of my rope, there really wasn't much I could do unless, you know, I wanted a lawyer up and go after Motorcycle Mall and Polaris, and then I would really wouldn't have anything. So I went two routes. One, I called my insurance company, and thank you very much, uh, Miguel, for letting me know that that's a good idea. Uh, I have comprehensive. Everyone should have, um, everybody should have insurance on their side-by-sides. A lot of places mandatory, but this is the reason. I mean, not only if it catches fire suddenly, or you drive off a cliff, or you tumble down a hill and it's totaled, uh, you at least covered. So in this case, um, I had my insurance company come take a look, saw the pictures, and they and they basically said, yeah, we're going to cover it. So kudos to my insurance company. I'll put it down there in the in the description. Let me know what your insurance company is. But we uh, were lucky enough to have a decent insurance company and uh, they paid for the repairs. So I wound up paying a couple hundred dollars out of my pocket for the deductible. Um, and uh, I did get uh, my parts back, my original parts. I can't imagine uh, Polaris is really <clears throat> gonna do anything for me. Uh, I'm just, I made the decision to simultaneously go look for another unit. And so you've already seen that if you're following along with the channel that I did buy a, a Honda Talon 1000R. Uh, it was between a Honda, a Yamaha, and a Kawasaki. And uh, it was also availability and size. Um, the R-Max looked really cool. Uh, not as sporty as I wanted it to be. Uh, the Kawasaki was just a big, gigantic machine. Really durable, really big, but a little too big. Uh, so I went with a Honda and I, at least in the future I can go there and I can you know possibly put a turbo in in the future It's and it's it's sanctioned and approved by Honda and Jackson Racing So that's something I can always do and I can always upgrade in the future, but I love it. It's great She's in the shop now for her first service. We'll have more details on that and we're gonna do a video of the um, of The outcome of uh, you know, what do I think about the Honda? but really this the bottom line is um, know your dealer now whether it's worth it to have an extended warranty or not is debatable I would say when I first had this issue 
don't buy an extended warranty. Save your money, put it aside. Um, I think I paid a thousand dollars and I got three years uh, of extended warranty through Polaris and it was useless to me. Now I know a lot of subscribers and viewers commented and said that they did have better luck. They've it saved their wallet several times by having it. So you really have to just gauge what's what's worth more, $1,000 on the side or spend it on an extended warranty. Um, I would not have been saved with $1,000. So in this case, you would think that, you know, a, a dealer may not want to accept May, may not want to accept the extended warranty will a dealer swap parts and play dirty pool just so they can make their money i don't know we'll leave the decision up to you but definitely i think what is a good thing to do is have references talk to people who've gone to those dealers look online look on facebook your local group really really helps you know we were uh we were lucky enough to have a good support group of people just telling me you know what to try where to go you know, I mean, it was a little aware and just look at YouTube and just see what what kind of problems do people have and what solutions, what are good dealers, what are not a good dealer. I drove four and a half hours to get my Honda. Now that's because of inventory. Is that the best place for me to get service? I don't know. The problem is that a lot of side by sides are filling up the market. It's very demanding on dealers and on sellers. And now you just have so many of these out on the market and they're filling up uh, service bays you know people are getting their Polaris's worked on a lot of us do work on our own um, a lot of this is building up long lines of where people can go ahead and say I'm going to bring mine in oh well you have to wait three weeks so the bottom line on that is where you buy it may not be where you get service but it really you really should know your mechanic know your know your dealer so uh, I learned the hard way and hopefully you won't in the future uh, maybe go for a one-year extended warranty um, I'm gonna go to Honda I did already and we'll see how it goes but I wanted to at least do the video and again it took weeks so many weeks back and forth where now I currently own two side-by-sides so I might ride her one more time um, and do a farewell video to it but we will be selling this razor, uh, the razor trail that we've upgraded. Uh, the only thing that's coming off is the particle separator. Uh, most likely sometime in the end of October, we will sell it. I'm happy to have the razor back and I'm happy to be able to move on to a Honda. Um, I just don't have the faith in Polaris if they're gonna fight tooth and nail over a $1,300 diff. Really where, uh, you, you see, we don't go in water that much. And even if I did, I haven't hit anything that diff is pretty well protected so why did it fail did it really fail did someone swap parts was there a dirty pool involved i don't know but just know your dealer and and be prepared when you buy a side by side to have these issues come up now i know a lot of people say buying a side by side is the cheapest aspect of owning a, a, a side by side <laughs> everything else is more expensive all your upgrades and everything so um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you again for all the advice. Please put in the comments down below what was your experience with your side-by-side. -side. Have you had a warranty issue? Please let us know in the comments if you've had an issue with your warranty and did the extended warranty work? Uh, did your dealer you know, take, take good care of you or did they leave you high and dry? Um, we will be going to Hatfield and McCoy, so there will be some upcoming videos but uh, you got to give me a little bit because uh, we have to do a bit of riding and a bit of filming so we hope to bring you some information on that soon we appreciate you subscribing share it with your friends and if you get a chance before you do your amazon shopping click on our amazon links even if you're not buying what we are selling we get a little credit so it helps support the channel and i do want to say thank you very much for people who have been purchasing off of our uh, apparel store for hats we're going to have more hats. We give away more of these every month. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think um, and what your experience was with your warranty service and your dealer. Who's your favorite dealer? Do you have a guy that other people should know about to go speak to when you have a service problem? Let us know. Put it down in the comments. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you out there on the trail.
happy to have the razor back and happy to make the camera shake all the time so i'm happy to have the razor i'm happy to have the razor try that again i had originally bought um the unit plane don't eat corn right before you do a video i flossed and i brushed my teeth experience with your side by side have you had a warranty issue uh have you had issues where the dealer did in your face.